Hi, I'm Stefan Knapp and I'm heading Volkswagen passenger cars here in India. Um, it's been a pleasure so far. I've been here now, this is my second year. Um, a really nice stint and there's a reason why you call India the incredible India. I think on the, on the safety side, uh, actually, uh, it's the right move. Uh, I think safety is an essential part and individual mobility, which you have to cater to. Fortunately, I can say that Volkswagen has nothing to change because from the starting point, uh, this is uh, ingrained in our DNA. It's a big investment uh, for the whole industry um, because we obviously have jumped one step in between. Um, and also the decision to pull ahead uh, the launch to uh, 1st of April 2020 by three months has put in a lot of pressure in the systems yeah? because um, we're talking here technology which has to be changed, we're talking high investments, so that's not that easy to change. Yeah? So it is a, it's a stretch for the automotive industry, it puts in additional cost in the cars, um, and um, which will obviously make Im uh, individual mobility uh, more expensive. So diesels will uh, most likely go out of the market in a lot of um, categories because it simply doesn't make a business case for a customer to purchase those vehicles. Yeah, so we assume it will be a cost increase of around 150,000 rupees, 1.5 lakh, um, which um, is definitely not a business case versus an inter uh, interesting uh, uh, petrol uh, proposition. All these developments yeah, take, have costs baked and will have to be yeah, covered by one or the other. Yeah? And this is a thing which is, from my point of view, very important also uh, from a governmental point of view. You really have to see what are the consequences for an industry yeah? and at the end of the day also then live with the consequences. First of all, I don't see a lot of investments of the government into that. Um, I think the majority is being covered by the automotive industry and subsequently also then partially by the customers. India is still a big market. India still um, will sell around 3 million passenger cars this year, yeah? and that is a big pond to fish in. Yeah? So you have to see it from an opportunity point of view. I think the dip is mainly driven by a little bit, a little form of insecurity in the marketplace. Yeah? So customers um, are a little bit confused. Yeah? So with a lot of talk on electric uh, electrification, there's a lot of talk on bans in the cities, there's a lot of talk on putting additional taxes, and there's some discussions on scrappage programs. All these elements of, um, let's say, rumors and of discussions are not helping to stabilize an industry. Yeah? So for me, it's very important that we stay calm, that we focus on delivering the best proposition to our customers, yeah? that we deliver a very good experience for our customers, for their individual mobility, and then I'm 100% sure these markets come back. India, as it's such, will continue to grow in the next years. Last year we announced uh, that we are going to invest um, uh, around 8,000 uh, crores in the rupee into the country, um, invest into a new R&D center which we have placed in Chakam, where we are going to have in the future up to 5,000 engineers working. We have a vision to uh, achieve around 3% market share in the next five years, which, um, makes, uh, which we believe makes us a sustainable business model for all our partners here in India. Our target group we are catering to, uh, which is, we call the aspirational middle class. So these people are looking for a car which has the highest quality, has the highest level of safety and at the same time is fun to drive. And that's exactly what Volkswagen offers. So if we have the right products at the right moment, at the right level of value for money, I'm 100% sure we as Volkswagen have a very, very positive outlook in this country. So we have a concise, very precise plan of our portfolio, which is based heavily on SUV. If no other market is an SUV market, but India is one, higher ground clearance, the package is nice, it's a family car at the same time, and as Indians are very fashionable, looking for the latest trend is exactly spot on.